Good day, good day, good day. Um, on this video, I'll be continuing uh, with calculus um, uh, derivatives because I realized that on the previous um, video or lesson, uh, the video was cut when I was still busy. So I'm going to go straight to the same question that I, I was still busy with, so that at least I can finish it off for you guys. So we had uh, x squared plus x plus 1. And then the whole thing was uh, divided by x. So the the laws are given a function which can either be fx, no? can, can be anything, can be fx, can be y. They can use any letter that they want to use. No? So we're given fx like that. Then they, they were wanted us to uh, find the derivative. No? So first thing first here, we have to divide everything by the same denominator. No? So it will be x squared divided by x first. And then plus x divided by x. So for those ones who are watching this video for the first time, please uh, go through our playlist and then you will see the other video. So I'm going to call the other video part one. Then this video will be called part two. Ne? That you guys can at least go on that sequence. So please watch the previous video first before you do this one. Ne? So yeah, that will be us uh, dividing everything by uh, the, our uh, x, which is the denominator. So from here onwards, we know we can uh, cancel and cancel, or you can use the second law of derivatives that if you're dividing the same uh, base, you must minus the exponents, or you just cancel the two. We know that if it's gonna be x, uh, you know, it will be x if the exponential law is x2 minus one, and then plus, and then uh, x1 minus one, and then uh, this one will just remain as it is, which will be 1 over x. Then. 1 over x. And then from there onwards, we know that this will give us x to the power of 1. And then plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So it will be x to the power of 0. Now. And then this one, we need to change this one. Remember here, it's not in exponent. And whenever you've got a number like this, to change to exponent, you always need to take the number that is down up here is to, to the power of one so when it goes up it will come back as x to the power of negative one so this exponent will come back as a negative number so from here onwards uh we know that this one is x to the power of one and then uh, here any number to the power of zero in maths uh, is equals to one so you always remember any number to the power of zero in maths whether it's a letter or number it's always equals to one then this one will uh Simplify to x to the power negative 1. So remember, this is just us simplifying the aim here. We just put this side. Our aim was to find the derivative. Ne? The aim of the question was to find the derivative. So meaning our derivative here, we need to go and do the loss now. We put the power 1 here. So it will be 1 times x, 1 minus 0. Ne? So, so 1 minus 1, not 1 minus 0, 1 minus 1. And then there we have got a number, it's a constant, remember. The derivative of a number is always equal to 0. Ne? And then there we've got uh, minus, just put plus first. But then I'm going to put a bracket there. I'm going to have negative 1 times my x. And then negative 1 is my exponent, minus 1. Ne? This is the loss that we did in the previous video. So that would be that. Then you close the bracket. So this will simplify to x to the power of 0, which is equals to 1. So this whole thing will simplify to x to the power of 0. So give us x to the power of 0. And then this will just be continue as 0, because that's our derivative that we have. And then here we're going to have negative 1, x to the power um, minus 2. Negative 1, then x to the power minus 2. Then you just simplify this. So meaning we know that x to the power of 0 is 1. So my final answer will be 1. And then minus a number to the power of x times x will be x. Ne? So it will be 1 minus x to the power minus 2 as my derivative. This would be my final derivative. Ne? Isn't the derivative loss? So we've went from that looking scary looking number to simplify to a nice derivative law. So those are the uh, laws that you guys need to know for um, grade 11, so for, for, for grade 12. They're going to come in handy for get trough. So let's quickly also uh, do an example. I want to do an example 
which I'm gonna combine everything we've done so far just to show you guys how to uh, solve it now. Let's say they give us um, fx. I want to do it like a big uh, scary looking number like so you guys can get used to this. So let's say they give us fx is equal to square root of x x3 now, just to x3 there and then plus and to include everything 1 over x cube now. 1 over x cube and then plus 2x plus 2x and then uh, I'll just put a negative sign number also I'll just put a negative sign number let's say minus 3 x4 x4 here let's put x4 then plus 3 now then plus 3 as our last number so this is our huge number let's say for 5 max yeah 5 max just say 5 max so if you want to try it first please pause the video and do it first now before we do it together so i'm assuming that by the time you are uh, resuming the video you've done uh, this derivative so now first thing that you must do you remember we are looking for first derivative ne? so meaning every single uh, math problem that we're given there you must end up with its first derivative ne? so you need to do the i think the only thing that i always advise is to do them one by one if you have to focus on this first one here we know that we must first remove the square root now which means we know that it's going to be x the exponent which is 3 now divided by the number outside which is 2 now even though the 2 is not there but the 2 is always there in square root plus this one you need to first make it exponent meaning it will come back as x is 3 there so it must come back as a negative number which will be negative 3 and then this one uh, just leave them as they are because we don't have to change them so far we'll change them we'll change them at the end when you are doing everything at the same time so we'll come back as 3x4 so so far now i've got everything as exponent so which means it's easy now to find the derivatives now because the most important thing is to get everything as exponent so this means that we can do our simplifying now so this will be 3 over 2 x and then uh, 3 over 2 minus 1 then 3 over 2 minus 1 3 over 2 uh, minus 1 and then this one it will come back as negative 3 and then x negative 3 minus 1 negative 3 minus 1 and then we continue this one will just come back number second law it's already 2x the second law will just come back as 2 now. so we know that it's come back as 2 in the second law then the third one do be 4 times 3 4 times 3 now. it's 4 times 3 and then uh, x to the power of 4 minus 1 eh? uh, 4 minus 1 and then that will be then the last one we know it's a number remember if it's a number it always come back as 0 eh? 4 minus 1 you might put 4 minus 1 there eh? 4 minus 1 and then plus 0 because it's a number there so the thing must come back as 0 so we need to simplify our answer this will be our answer but you need to simplify it now eh? so when you simplify this we know it will come back as 3 over x and then um, through the power of x to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 that will be half now so to the power of half and then in that one it will come back as um negative 3 to the power of negative 3 minus 1 will be negative 4 now negative 4 and then uh, the 2 is already done so it will come back as 2 because we've all done it now don't make the mistake of doing it again because remember it was only done once because it's the first derivative so it'll come back as 2 and then the, this one will come back as negative 4 x so no, no, not negative 4 it will be 4 times 3 that is 12 so it'll come back as negative 12 x to the power uh, 3 now x to the power of 3 then uh, it's only plus 0 so there's no need to put a 0 there so this will be my final answer my final derivative answer so when they mark, they can mark for each. They can give you a mark for this, mark for that, 
mark for that and mark for that which is negative 12 and also a mark for that so you can get five marks from that question just erase this part that you guys don't think it's for there so it'll be minus that 2x to the power of 3 now. so that will be you, you getting all the uh, marks for that question so last thing i want to also uh, show you guys how to approach again the square roots now so that i don't uh, leave you guys in the dark let's say tomorrow they give you guys a square root like this um so they say the two square root of four and then uh, it's x to the power of two ne? and then if you're comfortable you can do it first now you can post the video and do it first before i show you how to approach it now they say they give that they give that uh as an example for us to do now so when you're given that type of question remember we only store that there's a two which is outside there now. so remember the two that is outside there must affect everything which is inside we know that inside we've got four so this is the same thing as having four to the power of one so the first thing that we're going to do here we're going to have four and then two four to the power of one divided by the number that is outside which is two now. and then you apply it by that x there which will be x to the power of two that you have inside divided divided by the two which is outside now so this means when you simplify this what is 4 to the power of 1 um 1 over 2 that should give us uh 2 ne? that will give us 2 and then times x will be 2x and then we know that 2 divided by 2 will give us 1 so meaning i've simplified this and then it's giving me 2x ne? remember this is only the simplified version we haven't found the derivative yet if we have to continue and find the derivative of this so the derivative of this remember is 2x as long as you get a number attached to a letter therefore your answer must come back as um that number so meaning my derivative of that whole thing will just be two so you have to go them, do them step by step so you first divide that and then you divide that and then i find answer will be that so here it will be one over two you get two over two ne? then you get your answer as two that will be a final derivative Thank you very much guys um and please this is the part two so please go and watch part one uh, and then once you do uh, all the different parts then at least they'll go in a sequence thank you very much